Oh, I got Eric's here. Eric is here. Yes. Hello, beautiful yes. people. Welcome to our channel. We are here with the one and only Helena Nimick, who channels everybody pretty much, including my son, Eric. Hi, Eric. I love you. Hi, Mama. I love you. Plus, she is really a, a wonderful healer. She, if you have any doubts if Scalar Energy is going to work or not, you can contact her and we'll put her information up on the screen um to to scan you for energy and if you do have blocks she can remove them so today's topic eric helena is loneliness it's i feel like loneliness it's, it's almost like there's an epidemic of it am i wrong no no you're right and uh um eric's just saying too that uh the effects of of uh covid and being isolated and and not able to connect has has now we're seeing the the results of that because mm -hmm. people are having a really challenging time reconnecting. Yeah, I mean, oh. we used to have we used to get uh, together with certain people all the time, and now we just don't. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, it's kind of like the that pattern is continuing, you yeah. know. Um, so yeah, a lot of people are are suffering with loneliness, and you know I can definitely relate. I've experienced gone through that too. Yeah. Um, well, um, is this something that's a spiritual contract for the collective? Having COVID create this epidemic or and facilitate this epidemic of loneliness? Well, it, it, Eric's saying yes in a way because um, it's. It's allowing for for people to connect um, within themselves, with spirit and source within themselves. Because like Eric says, you can be in a room full of people and be the loneliest person in the room. You know, you can be surrounded by people and still have those lonely, disconnect, unsupported feelings, you know? Well, that's so that's really interesting because Eric, I was, after you died, I remember going through your Facebook before they memorialized it. And you you put on there, always lonely. And yet you were surrounded by so many people who loved you. Why? He's saying that he just felt that disconnect, that he felt he was different and that people just didn't get him. Mm -hmm. um, even family. And he, he's acknowledging that uh, his part in that too yeah. That he wasn't able to communicate that at that time. So, I but yeah. About you, but maybe yeah. not as deep a level as you need it, you know? Yeah. Well, he's saying it, it like, mom, you did the best that you could. You're, you're the best mom, you know? Um, he's saying it wasn't any failings in you whatsoever. You know, he just felt different, disconnected. And he felt that he wasn't truly loved for himself, but that was his perceptions. Oh, yeah. Not other people. That was his perception of himself, you see. Was it your spiritual contract to, to feel lonely? And so why? Well, it was a spiritual contract to come in with um, the, like, the bipolar, okay. you know, the, the different, um, different the, just the uniqueness. I'm not going to say special needs or anything like that. It's right. the uniqueness of, of him. And he's saying that he was not able to communicate because he, he couldn't figure that out in himself. So yeah. how could he move forward and talk to other people about it? Yeah. No. Of course, it makes sense. Yeah. Uh, now, of course, there are some reasons, different reasons that people could feel lonely besides, you know, the COVID thing and all that or mental mm -hmm. illness. Mm -hmm. uh, such as, you know, they could be earth angels, star seeds. They could be sometimes people who are predominantly teachers in this lifetime. Students go in and out of their life, and that makes them feel lonely. Mm -hmm. Can you talk, speak to these three things? And if that, if any of those were you, if not all three? Um, he's saying all three with him. Um, and like the Eric was here to teach too um he's saying that that's why the soul contract of his passing and everything that has been done from that um 
was uh, was sole contracted. Um, yeah, he he's he's acknowledging that, um, and he's saying like people that you can you can feel like you want to be alone. You don't want other people around. Um, you, uh, you enjoy spending time by yourself, but when there's no balance, when that gets imbalanced, then, then you, you know, it creates loneliness. Um, and you, without you really realizing it at the time. That sounds a little bit like me. Well, I, yeah, me too. <laughs> those kind of things. So, I am apparently a Pleiadian. I don't know if that's true as far as star seeds mm -hmm. are concerned. What are you, Eric, since you say you're a star seed? Eric is saying Pleiadian too. Um, he's saying Orion. Um, can you be a star seed from more than uh, one place? Like, can you be Pleiadian and Orion? Well, you, you can have. Um, He's saying like lifetimes as each okay. um, and they're splinters, they're fractals off of each other as well. Just like our souls are fractals. Um, that's, uh, that's how he's explaining it. Interesting. Um, so, uh, you know, star seeds, they feel lonely because they feel like they don't belong. They're mm -hmm. not really used yes. to the crew. Or do you want to yes. say anything about that? Well, he's saying that that there is a a deep knowing that you're not from here, and everything in this physical world is so challenging because it is truly a lot of times the opposite of how it shows of yeah. what we think, what we perceive, mm -hmm. and th that can create loneliness. Right, you know, just in that. Um, you you feel so different. You know that you're not from here, yeah. and there's a longing to go home. You know, so why can't you feel like I'm different? That's awesome. Why do you need <laughs> yeah, that that's, why, well, it, it, unfortunately, it, that's that's not how it. society raises us, right? That's not um, like Eric saying in schools, and he's he's talked with me about this quite a bit about. Um, we need to, as as important as math, English, and science is self acceptance. And when you have self acceptance, true self acceptance, you can accept anyone and love anyone for who they are and where they're at. Mm -hmm. And if that was done from a young age, where they're more open to it, you know, it would really benefit. It it truly would. Well, now we have to learn about genitals when you're a kindergarten and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, that's, yeah, yes. That's, um, so. So we, we, but I think there are some schools that are trying to teach. Yes, it's yes, like, Eric's saying that there are. And our parents, um, parents have a job, too, to end the city. Yes, yes, yes. So can do a lot yeah. of damage. Yeah, you know? yeah, yes. <laughs> well, um, so let's see. So if you find out, you know, you can uh, Google starseed quiz people and see if you're a starseed and if you are, what constellation you're from. And then maybe you could shift it by saying, wow, that's a cool planet I'm, constellation. I'm going to go back there soon, but I'm special. I'm not just your mere mortal well, thing. So you can shift your thing. Yes. Find like out all the special you. qualities of each of right. starseed that you are. Right. And Eric's saying it gives you a deeper understanding of who you are and why your perceptions are the way they are. Um, it's it, it, it tr He's saying it truly does come down to self-acceptance and the love and light in your life. And he's explaining how like loneliness, it's a perception. You feel disconnected from the light yeah. and from love. We all want to want to be loved, yeah. um, and he's he's giving the visual of um, the sun behind the clouds that you don't see, yeah. but it's oh. there. It's still there. Yeah. 
So just like in that, those lonely feelings, um, the light and love is there. You you just don't perceive it. You're not seeing it. Good Lord, I, I made you sit in my lap when you were 17 years old so I could sit up <laughs> with you. Because that wasn't enough. All right, so Eric, what do you tell those who, first of all, how can somebody find out find out that they're lonely because they are teacher teachers and they've had students come and go in their life? How do you figure that out? And then when you have that knowledge, say it's a yes, what do you do to, to, to spin it to a positive? Well, he's saying that uh, you, you do have, it's trusting your intuition, trusting that feeling um, that you are um, a teacher, a healer, a, you know, and then it, flipping the script, um, like you say, changing those perceptions that, hey, this really is a good quality, you know, uh, and and so much of it is the opposite of what we perceive about ourselves. Mm -hmm. um, Eric's just saying that I used to visualize um, flipping a switch when one of my qualities, I would look at it as, you know, we label things negative, I positive, know. whatever, you know, and um so you can go into that and have those feelings of that. And then something clicks. Like I, it was something someone had said to me um, and it, it clicked with me. And I was like, Oh, here all that time. I thought I was meant to suffer in this lifetime because of, you know, how I'd been in previous lifetimes. And it was actually the opposite of that. Wow. And once that, that was like, accepted, um, it really changed everything in my life. It really, it, it truly did. Wow. That's oh. amazing. That's incredible. So what do you tell the teachers out there, Eric? What do they do? Maybe, Connect with maybe. their guides. Connect with their starseed family. Um, ask to communicate. Um, he's actually saying that uh, time spent alone in meditation. Um oh. I know we're talking about loneliness, he's saying, but time spent alone with yourself in meditation or just going inside and, and really looking at changing the perception of challenges to opportunities. Okay. Yeah. All right. Um, Eric, you know, I, you find that you're an earth angel where, when you're alive here. And generally, earth, <coughs> earth angels come in with a much higher vibration um, than usual because they have so much shit happen in their life that they need to start out here because they go down, right. down, down. And, you know, they also feel like they don't belong. They feel lonely. So I'm going to ask Paula to put a, that, uh, Paula, the video of, of when he was a little kid going, not da, not da, and see how high his vibration was. <laughs> just it's beautiful um but so what do you tell earth angels out there to flip the switch to to trust in themselves and what they know to be true uh don't look at outside opinions or thoughts uh, you know because that's programming we're yeah. programmed. So you you kind of separate the what was programmed to what is my truth. Yeah. It only takes 40 days to rewire a thought to it. Right, one. right, right. So sometimes that's why mantras help. Yes, yeah, and et cetera. Eric has, Eric has been giving a lot of daily man mantras for my clients too. And, yeah. um, and Hertz music, listening to Hertz music, whichever, you know. Um, it's best for you. Yeah. Yeah. So um, what would you, what, what would you tell your child self, Eric, to have changed things as far as loneliness is concerned? What, what, what message would you give that little child saying, not that, which means good night in Norwegian. He's saying he would tell him to accept the love that he was receiving. Yeah. He would tell him to love 
all those qualities about himself that he was a special soul he is a special soul we all are yeah um And, and communication. He would, he would yeah, he have wanted to communicate better how he was feeling. And I know I had told you about that conversation my son had with me about suicide and how it was the hardest, probably, conversation I've ever had. And Eric, when I was thinking about it, Eric, you know, and I, I did know this, um, that a lot of mothers would give a right arm to have had that conversation, you know? So communication is, is very important. Yeah. And expressing yourself, yeah. you know, and he didn't see himself as, as you all saw him. And most often we don't see ourselves as other people see us, you know, the goodness. Well, we try, I mean, at least I, you and I could talk about it. Anything and everything, sex, you name it. Yeah, yeah. But you know, you can only do so much to try to get somebody to communicate their emotions. Yeah. Uh, but yeah. you can't force them. So suppose loneliness, uh, if you're lonely or somebody you love is lonely because of mental illness, any advice for them? Like depression, of course. Yeah. Eric's saying to the best that you can do is to be there and support them the best that you can. Receiving help. Groups. Yeah. You know, um, group activities. Um, just He's saying making that person feel loved. Mm -hmm. Because honestly, loneliness comes down to not feeling like you're unlovable. Yeah. Oh, so, um, yeah, it, it, it's like that person may not show it or, you, you know, but, but your support of them just as they are yeah. not trying to fix them, not trying to, you know, just really listening with an open heart and open mind. And then looking into some things that can, you know, activities and that, that could, could help with that, you know. Do uh, you remember, Eric, every, almost every night before I tucked you guys into bed, I would take each one of you, read your bedtime stories, sing songs horribly. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, and um, and I would just say, you know, you are so special. And here's the, the cool things that I think are amazing about you. And I would change it up each time. And, yeah. Uh, yeah, but uh, you can only do so much as a mother. Now, what about, uh, now it's not for everybody, but uh, could, could loneliness be helped by doing something humanitarian, like volunteer for the uh, volunteer at the food bank or um, sitting and talking with Definitely. Or would that make Definitely. them lonely? No, I think they would feel more of a connection and they would feel a value. Um, I, uh, I started out volunteering uh, before I went into my, my career work and it, it was because I was so disconnected, you know, coming off the yeah. street and just, it, it just, I felt connected to people and I was able to eventually look people in the eye. Mm -hmm. And it, it was a great feeling when I realized that, Yes, I can. I can function. I can talk to people, and you know, I am. Uh, I am worthy. And, and you, f in service, you find yourself when you when you're serving in service of others. You truly find yourself. So he's saying that yeah, definitely. Yeah. Yeah. So I, yeah. I shared this experience with uh, the experiment with you guys before, but um, like I would try to focus on eye contact better, like going through McDonald's which you know, on a regular basis and just mm -hmm. look them in the eye and thank them. I mean, not look at them, right. look up at a person's face, but, but not yeah. really look into their eyes. Yeah. It's a really strange spark that happens. Sometimes yeah. it people off guard. You creeper. Yeah. <laughs> um, but no, that's, but that's, yeah. that's helping the connection. Like that's deepening the connection. So practice that. Yeah. 
practice mm-hmm. like really look yes. at your yes. waiter or the waitress or in your daughter's yeah. eyes or you know any, any your friend your family yeah. etc and and i think that could help are there any mantras that you, you could recommend for a, in general for those who are lonely I am worthy and deserving of love. I am love. Okay. I am unique and and have qualities and gifts to share. As we all do. And people going through that experience can, can, as they're going through it at any stage of the process, share what they're going through and uh, pay it forward, basically. Yeah. So, and if you've lost connection with people during COVID, maybe put it on mm-hmm. your to-do. I got my to-do list. <laughs> um, bathe. I mean, really? <laughs> I don't know why. I don't know. <laughs> uh, so anyway, um, to to like make one reconnection this month. Yes. Maybe you yes. used to get together for yes. coffee with your neighbor. Yeah. You know, once a yeah. quarter, just just pick up the phone and mm-hmm. set something up. You're yeah. lazy. I mean, you know, we had Robert over. He was in a bad way when we took it. Uh, my family took him um, under our wing, and um, we had Friday. He had Friday night dinners with us at our, with our family almost every Friday, and um, but then COVID happened. And yeah, he, he compromised yeah. and stopped, and it's just really been hard to like get that going again yeah, to reconnect that again yeah and yes. eric was just saying there about um you you said about you know uh the drive through and making eye contact and that because of covid you can sit in your house and have everything delivered to your door mm-hmm. and never see a person it's just on the phone and it's at your door yeah and like he's saying that if that becomes on balance, like if that, like you're really disconnecting from people and before you know it, you will be in that really lonely state. But that's true. Uh, I mean, it's always been available, but people took it, had to take advantage of all that, those services during COVID. Quiet. Sorry, my dogs are bringing up. Sorry, what was that? Fine. You know, I mean, it, the, these services, Amazon, Instacart, all these yes. have yes. always been available, but they got used to, and also yes. remote work. Yes, yes, the, the remote working for us, yeah. you know. So, like Eric's saying, you, in your best interest, uh, it, even small goals, to start off with small goals like that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, even going for a walk and I have the greatest conversations when I'm walking the dogs, like really, you know, and you'll never see that person again, but it, it just, you just feel connected. Yeah. And I know it makes them feel connected too. So it's really weird but because I'm just thinking, go to a dog park. If you don't have a dog, go to your neighbor and say, Hey, can you your dog? I'd love to take <laughs> for a walk. And, yes. um, you know, for example, and also you're out yes. of nature. The yes. guy is going to yes. wrap her arms around you, right? And take care right. of you. So, and know, that will don't step in any poop and bring it back. In. <laughs> but Eric's saying too that grounds you. That helps yeah. to ground you. And Gaia will, Mother Earth will will ground you, mm-hmm. and it can like get a handle on all those thoughts and perceptions and just calm you down into you know um, into yourself. Okay, anything else you want to say about loneliness and advice for people who are lonely or who know somebody who's lonely? Eric's saying that um, (laughs) this too shall pass. You know, it's um, you you don't have to remain in that state of loneliness. It's not truth. It is not truth. Um, There is light and love and support all around you whether it be physical or spiritual, both many times and uh, know your self-worth, like look at yourself and, and just look at those things, those qualities about yourself yeah. that you can, you have to share with others and that, you know, um, will, will help flip that switch and get you back on connection. That's true. You know, I'm actually an introvert. I'm much shyer than people even realize, but I tend to like to talk to people 
because I love mm-hmm. people. And um, my husband hates this. We're going to the restaurant. And I'm like, oh, that looks good. What you eating? And I was like, this whole conversation. And then he's like, what are you going to give him? Your social security number next? <laughs> Oh. Anyway, Eric's just telling yeah. again, balance, Mama. Balance. I know, I know. But, but you know what? It is good. It's it, it is good, and you don't know how much that conversation would make that other person feel good too. You know, like just having that connection, talking to people. We all we all need it. You it know, we all need it. it. Like yeah. the degenerates in the in the um. All, al- all alone in the uh, elevator. And then a person comes on and she's standing there next to him and says, hey, you want to smell something weird? You don't want those kind of conversations. <laughs> it's so funny. All right. Uh, anything else, Eric, before we close? No, he's just saying take care of yourselves and take care of each other. And y'all all love ask, you. ask for your guides. Yes, talk angel, to your guys. Aaron, yes. If you if you're lonely, yeah. ask for their company. Yes. Ask yes. Oh, I, Eric would be happy. That's what he's saying. What we're all happy to be there for you. You, you might know? be you might be immersed in some rotten yeah. stuff, but yeah. that's just pretty yeah, there. Bombs and, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, thank I like the first yeah. time. Oh, go ahead, tell me. Tell me. No, no, no. The first the first time I connected with Eric. I was sitting on the bathroom toilet and there he is. And I was just like, cause I live by myself. I was so freaked out by that. Eric, and, uh, time and a place. <laughs> and like, now I can laugh about it. And actually he's with me in the bathroom a lot. It seems to be. He does do that. He does that, it. Yeah, for a door yeah. too. I said, I don't want to close your eyes, dude. Anyway. Okay. okay. Well, Thank Eric loves you. you. And I love you, all the Channeling Eric family, all the Scalar we family. Love we love you. You're not alone. You're never alone. And never, never, never. I love you all. Yeah. I send over your papers. I'll adopt each and every one of you and be your mama. I love you. Yeah, we will. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Bye.